Hey, happy scrappers! So, if you have seen my Glimmer Miss review uh, video, you would have known that my Lindy Stem Gang products have arrived last week. Uh, but I said that about a month ago. So, the delay was really nothing to do with Lindy Stem Gang. Um, she was perfect. Um, customer service was great and she sent the products on time. But unfortunately, uh, well, something happened to the warehouse that I have in US, or the account I have in US, and the warehouse shut down for a month and everything was delayed. It was traumatizing for me just to wait an additional month on top of the two weeks that I've already waited when um, I sent, when I made the order uh, to Lindy. But anyway, finally, the products have arrived and um, I, I just wanted to get right on it and scrap but I thought, hey, you know, I'm going to do a product review as I promised and show you the colors that I got. So the colors that I've got was the Moon Shadows. I got the blue label and the orange label. The Starburst Stains, I got the Mayday Meadows. The Victorian Bouquet and the Jamaican Jungle. Awesome. So the first shades of colors that I would like to show you would be my shades of pink. And as you all know that I love uh, shades of pink, blues and earthly colors. So, um, so I really got a whole bunch of shades of pink, reds and, okay, and purples. So um, the lightest color I have here is Wild Honey Honeysuckle Coral. It's a very pastely um, pinkish peach color. Then the next one is Rambling Rose from the Victorian Bouquet. Rhododendron Red from the Jamaican Jungle. Magnolia Magenta Gold from Mayday Meadows. Um, Tiger Lily Red um, Orange. And for here, if it does, you don't see anything in brackets, it means I bought it as individual colors. If you see the name in bracket, then you know which edition I got it from. Uh, this is Bougainvillea Fugia. Okay, this is again the um, magenta gold and I didn't realize because this came from the package and I, yeah, well, I don't know, I bought it as an individual color for some weird reason. And um, this is Sweet Violet Purple from the Victorian Bouquet. So if I were to choose one of my favorite colors that I would like from this um, page, I would say the Wild Honeysuckle Coral because I love, you know, pastely, more on the lighter pastely colors, whereas the rest are really bright and they're more on the brighter and darker, deeper hues, which is really nice as well. But um, probably for the first of preference, I would like, um, I love this color, really, really sweet. And probably the next one would be the Rambling Rose. A very sweet and um, brightish pink color as well. So here you have my starburst in shades of red. Okay, for the next one, shades of blue and green. Uh, also starburst stains. This is hydrangea blue from Victorian Bouquet. Baby blue eyes aqua. Delphinium turquoise from Jamaican Jungle. Um, this is carp. Carpathian Bluebells from the Mayday Meadows. Uh, Lucky Shamrock Green. And um, Maiden Hair from Green. And Kenna Lily Burnt Orange. So if I put the Burnt Orange next to the Tiger Lily Red Orange, you can see that the Burnt Orange is, well, more of the burnt look. It has a bit more coppery. Uh, tones to it and the orange is a really deep dark orange so here's a glance at all the colors comparison put together and I think I I love this baby eye, baby blue eyes aqua and let me show you comparing it to my blue glimmer mist that you have seen hang on here and if you can see the colors are pretty different from my glimmer mist so which is fantastic because then I will still be using my Glimmer Mist um, and as well as my Starburst Sprays because they're, yeah, they're really quite a different color. Uh, definitely the Starburst stains are more deeper and this is against the green. So totally different colors too. And let me show you my Glimmer Mist pinks, shades of pinks with my Starburst stains. Okay, let's see. Can you see that? See, very different colors too. 
Um, I think the wild honeysuckle coral could be a bit similar to the cherub pink, but the wild honeysuckle uh, coral has a bit more uh, goldish tones to it. So they're really different as well, so I would definitely be still using my Glimmer Mist. So which I'm glad that I don't have similar colors. Okay, get a good look. Okay, and the next one, let's see. Starburst sprays as well. I have the California Golden Poppy from Jamaican Jungle. Glory of the Seas Gold where everyone is raving about it. And a little bit from the Black Orchid Silver got, uh, yeah, got mixed up there. This is Desert Moon Cactus on white. I guess you can't really see, but you, what you see, the shimmering, is a very silvery gold shimmer. Coca, coca Bean Copper, Black Orchid Silver, and this is Desert Moon Purple. And this is the glitz. So both are the glitz here. Alrighty. And then we come to the moon shadows. So all the moon shadows are pretty vintagey colors. I love it. You, I just can't get enough of brown and gold and copper and bronze. Um, so anyway, um, Jolly Roger Red from Blue Label, the Crow's Nest Copper, Bucket O Blood Red, Peg Lake Peach Purple. Um, Pirates Plunder Gold and Golden Doubloons and Long John's Silver. So, I think, no, I did not do this in the black. Okay, so anyway, here goes the moon shadows in the browns and coppers. The next one, also moon glow. Okay, let's see here. Okay, here you have the Buccaneer Bay Blue, the blue label, and the Buccaneer Bay Blue orange label. I'm not too sure why they have two Buccaneers of the same name in two different labels and but they are both two different colors so I don't know it could be a misprint or something I, I have to check online I'm not too sure but um, here you can see obviously it's more bluish and here is more orangey hmm, interesting and then you have the Lenlubber Green I love all the moon shadows um, names have you realized that they all sound like the friends of Jack Sparrow hilarious Okay, uh, and this is the Royal Peacock Fire. So you can't see it against the white, but check this out. If you have it, I think it's, it's this one, yeah. Is it this one? Yeah. But if you check it in the black, on a black piece of paper, it's more obvious. Sorry, I mixed up. I think... <laughs> Okay, so if you see it in black, this royal peacock fire, let's see if you can see it there. Uh, can you get a good look? Okay, the royal peacock fire is a very shimmering turquoise um, on the white. But on the black, oh, awesome. Doesn't it look so glittery? A very greenish hues. And the top here, is the Buccaneer Bay Blue on the black and the Buccaneer Bay Blue orange label on the black and this is the uh, Labe, Len Labe Green so this is on the white and this is on the black so all right okay and then um, the last ones and I also did this on the black as well uh, if you can see this yeah on the black, on the moon shadow. I did a moon shadow. So on the black and white, it looks really different for the moon shadows. So this is Jolly Roger Red. Obviously, you can't see much red when it's on the white. It's more on the brown hues. But if you do it on the black, and you can see the red is really more obvious. Um, this is Crow's Nest Copper. This is Bucket of Blood Red. And this is Peg Lake Peats Purple. And here you can see the purple. So it's like a chameleon on the white, right? But when it's on the black and then the true color shows. Um, and then for this one here, uh, just need to get, okay. Now you can see that. So this is Pirates Plunder Gold and Golden Doubloons and Long John Silver. 
So I think among of these colors, I think I do like oh, such a difficult choice. You know what? I think I'm going to say I like them all. <laughs> I do. I really do like them all. But um, just a note for Jolly Roger Red. Uh, if you're thinking of buying a red, um, really you're not. <laughs> but on the black, then you are. Okay? Does that make sense? And let's see. Okay. And I also got some embossing powders. So you can see the embossing powder. And I did this on the black as well. Ta-da! Okay, so here is King Midas Gold. Um, it's a very, very light gold. Uh, this is the M Madonna Rope Blue Gold, very pasta blue, cosmic pink blue, and the cosmic pink blue again. I was just, I was just trying out in different stamps, and this is the Stardust Candy Rose. So they're all very pastely colors, but if you do it on the black, and check this out. The King Midas Gold is something so subtle and becomes so bright. Uh, same thing here, the Madonna's Rope, Rope Blue Gold and the Cosmic Pink. You can see on the black, it's really cosmically. Yeah. And then this is the Stardust, the Stardust Candy Rose. Can you believe it? So sweet and white and suddenly, ta-da! So shimmering and cosmic looking on the black. Um, and let's see, and the last one, I did get a bunch of micas, I need just got one range, uh, which is the Harvest range, and these are the colours that I painted it, this is not uh, flowers, um, this is just uh, paper that I cut out in the shape of flowers, just to show you. So here is Pumpkin Blush, okay, let me see that, can, you, can I get it in the right angle? Okay, here is Pumpkin Blush, Pinecone Brown Green, Oak Leaf Olive. I really like this. It's very olivey and has the orange shimmers to it. Autumn Plum, Burnish Golden Leaf, Terracotta, Indian Summer Turquoise, which I painted my Sky Blue Prolax and it's pretty similar. So if you have this Indian Summer Turquoise, you don't need to get the Prolax in Sky Blue. And uh, this one is the Spring Green in Prolax and it's pretty similar as well to the Oak Leaf Olive. Okay, just, just a note for you. Um, Adobe Fire, Autumn Leaf Crimson and Deep Burnish Bronze. And I really love all the coppery colors which is the Pumpkin Blush, Burnish Golden Leaf and the Deep Burnish Bronze. I really love these three colors. Very coppery very vintagey so i think that's it from me from my lindy stamp gang so i hope this uh, review was helpful in um, letting you uh, helping you choose the next time you go on uh, go on lindy stamp gang and uh, do buy their products is awesome um, and i'm going to start scrapping with it so stay tuned for um, more videos using lindy stamp gang bye happy scrappers